I never imagined that one day I would be skating inside an ice cave, inside a glacier. It all started when my friend James posted some pictures of him and his friend sledding on Facebook. They came across the entrance to an ice cave. Well, James knows that I am such a fanatic about skating on wild ice. And when he discovered that the floor in the cave was the perfect ice rink, he knew right away he had to take me there. So he invited me and my friend Lisa on the adventure of a lifetime. So James borrowed his friend's sled and took us on a six and a half hour drive. The last two hours were on a gravel road, like literally in the middle of nowhere. Hey, we are on the dirt road right now and it is pretty bumpy. It's uh, like a free Canadian massage. special place that we found snowmobiling recently. The cool thing about glacier caves is that they're not always there. So he was telling us that this cave was just kind of a cove last year and then this year they went to explore it and all of a sudden it opened up and you can walk right inside. When we arrived at the staging area, James unloaded the sleds with a little help from Lisa. Then, we embarked on a one-hour journey to the glacier. But we had a little fun along the way. She started it herself. Woo oh my god, this is like way too much fun. When we finally arrived to the entrance of the cave, a few snowmobilers had already beat us there. There's definitely a temperature drop. The entrance was steep and slippery, and at the bottom was the entrance to a huge ice hallway. We followed the hallway, and it brought us to this grand ballroom, what I like to call it. It was a huge, flat ice rink, but it wasn't time to skate yet. First, we decided to explore the cave. First, we explored what I call the never-ending tunnel. We went in quite a ways, like we probably walked 15 minutes, and we still never found any end to it. So. I don't know if there is one. So this cave has a huge echo and it goes on forever. Next, we explored the Crystal Tunnel. This place was incredible. The entire ceiling was covered with delicate ice crystals. As soon as you touch them, they just disappear. In one spot, I thought I spotted a woman frozen in ice. Then I discovered it was just my friend Lisa being a goofball. Once we finished exploring the caves and took a ton of photographs, it was finally time for my big moment. With Lisa in charge of lighting and James in charge of photography, I had the most surreal time of my life skating inside a glacier. Thank you 
so much for watching my adventure. If you're interested in learning more, visit my website at teresathetraveler.ca. Or if you want to pick up one of my books, they're also available on Etsy and Amazon.